In this demo, we'll be showing um, an integration for help desk features and defect triaging that integrates data between ServiceNow Express, GitLab Issues, and Mozilla Bugzilla. So what are some of the benefits of integrating your help desk development and product management? It's really all about letting each of your teams use the tools that are built for those teams um, while being able to access information from teams that are using separate tools. So you can enable your help desk to use their own purpose-built tool, but still automatically participate in the software development flow. Similarly, your development teams can manage defects in their preferred tool, while your product management team manages feature requests in their own preferred tool. It allows for automatic triaging of defects and features reported through the help desk to the appropriate teams. You'll no longer need to rely on spreadsheets, waiting through emails, or yet another status call. You'll also have full traceability between requests, defects, and features to ensure proper visibility, regardless of the tools being used. So let's look at an example scenario where you may want to integrate these three types of tools. In this scenario, our IT team is using ServiceNow Express to receive um, incident requests from members of our organization about an in-house built web conferencing tool. Meanwhile, our software developers are using Mozilla Bugzilla to track defects for that web conferencing tool, and business analysts on our product team are using GitLab issues to track feature requests for the product. When our IT team receives an incident, they can determine whether that incident is pointing to missing functionality or to a defect in the product. If it's identifying a defect, they can check Create Defect on that incident and it will automatically flow information from the incident over to Bugzilla as a defect. That way our software developers can receive the defect in their tool of choice and assign it as part of their daily triaging process. Then once the defect is resolved, they can flow that information back to ServiceNow Express so that our IT team can notify the person who submitted it that it's been resolved. On the flip side, if the IT team decides that the incident is pointing to missing functionality in the product, they can check off Create Feature and flow information from that incident to GitLab Issues. In GitLab Issues, our business analyst on the product team will be able to review all of the feature requests they've received, prioritize them, and determine what the release plan is for the new product. Then, if a feature gets added to the product, they can flow that information back to ServiceNow Express enabling the IT team to notify the person who requested it that the feature is now available. This integration allows each of these three teams to continue using their own purpose-built tools, but also to seamlessly flow information to separate teams. So let's take a closer look at this demo and dive into the product itself. So now we see ServiceNow Express on the left and Bugzilla on the right. ServiceNow Express is the tool that our IT team is using to triage incidents, and Bugzilla is the tool that our developers are using um, to track defects. So we're going to open a new incident in ServiceNow Express. We'll give it a description that the web conference system won't allow the user to reset their password. We'll add um, a contact type of phone, a priority of low, We'll add a short description. We'll indicate that the computer platform is Windows. We'll add the impact. And then since this sounds like a defect, we'll check Create Defect and Submit It. This will then prompt our integration to flow information over to Bugzilla and to create a defect in that system, which we'll see right here. And if we open it up, we'll see that the fields have flowed over correctly and that we even have a link to our ServiceNow incident to allow for proper traceability. Here we'll add a comment in Bugzilla, and you'll see in a few seconds that we'll be able to flow this comment over to ServiceNow so that our software developers can communicate with our IT team. And we can even add a screenshot to provide additional information, um, and that attachment will also flow over to ServiceNow Express. So we see our comment and attachment here in Bugzilla. And when we go to ServiceNow Express, 
we'll see as well that our comment and attachment have been added to ServiceNow, so our IT team can use that information to communicate with the person who submitted the request. You'll also see in ServiceNow that similar to what we saw in Bugzilla, we have a link to the Bugzilla defect to allow us to easily navigate between the two if we need to. So now let's look at an example where we receive an incident in ServiceNow that actually points to a new feature request rather than a defect. So here we're entering a short description um, that the user is not able to share their screen in the web conferencing system. And let's say this feature just doesn't exist in the product yet. That means that we really should flow it over to GitLab Issues, the tool that our product team is using, so that they can triage this as part of their release planning process. So here we're just um, populating a few more fields on the incident, similar to what we saw before. And we're going to check Create Feature so that this flows to GitLab Issues instead of Bugzilla. And let's submit it. And now you'll see GitLab issues on the right side of the screen. And when we refresh, you'll see that the feature has been created in GitLab issues with information pulled from ServiceNow Express. And once our product team receives that, they can review the request and add a comment and flow that back to our IT team in ServiceNow Express. That way, our IT team can see whether or not this feature has been added to the plan and communicate that information to the person who requested it. Furthermore, you'll see that we have a link to the GitLab issue automatically populating a field in ServiceNow Express, once again allowing us to navigate easily between the two. By flowing information from ServiceNow Express to two separate tools, we have the flexibility that we need to learn more about how you can enable cross-team communication and collaboration by integrating your tools. Please visit our website at www.tastop.com.